ordinal numbers. Let's now look at ordinal numbers, or numbers that are ordered, so first, second, third, fourth, whatever. Here's our chart, what they look like. And um, let's just go through this here. This is the only slide, actually, for this module. The first one is, or first, the word first, is Rishon. And the Rishon comes from Rosh, meaning head. So you see Rishon and Rishona, are being the feminine ending. So that's where you get the word first from. Now, Echad, which is what we saw for the cardinals, can also be used as a, a uh, ordinal. So Echad can be used for either. But the Rishon, I think, is the more common one. Um, Echad is what shows up in Genesis 1, verse 5, day 1. And then the rest of the days are listed second day, third day, or day second in the Hebrew order. But Echad is actually what's used in Genesis uh, 1 verse 5. Okay, so that's number 1. Um, 2 through 10. What we see here is that for the masculine, you have this E ending. See the E there, the end? And in the middle as well, after the second radical, for many of them, not all of them. So we have Sheni, Shilishi. You can see how the how these are built on the cardinals, the, the ones the ones we looked at before, but they have this e ending. Sheni, Shilishi, Rivii. Now this one is missing the Aleph. Arba is the cardinal, so it starts with an Aleph. Um, that, that this one's a little different because the Aleph is missing in, in the ordinal. Rivii. Hamishi, Shishi, Shivii. Shemini, Tishii, Asiri. Okay, so that is your, these are your ordinals in the masculine. And if you're reading through the Bible, if you start in Genesis chapter 1, you'll encounter a number of these, because you encounter Echad and all of them down to seventh. So all the days of, the days of creation use these words right here, so, uh, or up to seven. And they use them in the masculine. Um, because Yom is masculine. That's an, another thing to say here. The ordinals do not do the gender flip. The cardinals, 3 right down to 10, um, have this gender flip where masculine nouns are modified by feminine numbers and vice versa. The ordinals do not do that. So it's Yom Shilishi. Okay? They're both masculine. Okay, um, let's look at the feminine ones. Rishona, we looked at that already, it's just Rishon with the A ending. The rest of them, pretty much, or most of them end with with uh, Tav. They have the E, just like we have here, so that marks this ordinal aspect, seems to, anyway. And then the Tav is your feminine. So, Sheni becomes Shenit. Shilishi, Shilishit. And then there's also the option of Shili. Shia, Shili Shia, okay, which is similar to this, Rishona, got the I ending there. Rivii, Riviit, Hamishi, Hamishit, Shishi, Shishit, Shivii, Shiviit, Shimini, Shiminit, Tishii, Tishiit, Asri, Asrit, or Asi, Asiri, Ya, <laughs> Asiri Ya. You can tell I'm not very practiced on these things. Okay, so here we have the masculine, here we have the feminine. This is marked by E endings and also E in the middle. These also have the E, but the end in Tav or A, which again are endings we've seen for feminines. Um, one other thing to say is that the feminine ordinals not the masculines, but the feminine ones, can be used to express fractions. So in, uh, an example of this is Exodus 16, verse 36. Now an omer is a tenth part of an epha. And this is the word they use here, asirit. It's actually written defectively without the yud there. But asirit um, is the word, and it means a tenth. So an omer is a tenth of something else, an epha. So... There you have the ordinals.